how to finish your big creative dream project in 12 months, part three. Together, we are bringing your creative dream project into reality, and I am so thrilled that you've gotten this far in this three-part video series. We are almost there. My name is Jenny Velarde. I'm a psychotherapist, and just as importantly, I'm an artist. Now, together, we have broken down steps one through six. If by chance you are coming across this episode, which is number three in the series, but haven't yet watched part one and part two, pause now and return to those so you can be all caught up with us. Otherwise, please grab your notes and that clear, simple guide that I made for you at artistasguide.com backslash project in a year. Also, be sure to thumbs up this video and save it below so that you have it for yourself to refer back to throughout the course of the year. Okay, let's dig into step number seven. Step seven, anchor. At this point, you have pinpointed your project. You've broken it down into doable, smaller tasks. You've divvied these tasks into 12 parts representing each month, and you've gone through your calendar and taken the time to schedule in working sessions, what I call creative birth sessions, for the entire year. Amazing. Now, as you are moving from month to month, I want you to anchor yourself. Now, what do I mean by that? At the top of every month, set up for yourself some time. So perhaps an entire creative birth session devoted entirely to refreshing yourself on the to-do tasks allotted to that month. It may require adjusting things as tasks are perhaps added or subtracted based on what was completed during the course of the previous month or months. Also, during this step, you are getting a good sense as to what specific tasks can be accomplished during which week and even during which day during the course of the month at hand. Take the time to really assess this right at the beginning of the month. When you are anchoring, essentially, you're finding your footing for the month so that you feel clear-headed and ready for the next round of to-do tasks. Now, another advantage of this is kind of standing back and looking at what you've already accomplished. It's kind of like whenever I'm doing an oil painting, I will kind of be zoned in on a section for a while, but it's always imperative that I stand back with regularity and take a look at the piece as a whole to know where I am and kind of realign where I wanna put my focus. Step eight, create. This step is just as it says. This is where you actually get to create. So all those broken down tasks that you established for yourself in step number four, that you took the time to schedule into your calendar with your creative birth sessions, this is where you actually take them on and complete them one by one. For many of us, this step is actually the step that we dream about doing. As artists, as creators, as creative people, this is a step that we crave. But without the previous seven steps that lead up to this, we so rarely get here. In fact, way too often, we leave it up to chance. Watch my video about the dangers of waiting for inspiration to strike to get our work done, an incredibly self-sabotaging habit for any artist. Now this step, step number eight, the create step, is where we actually get to engage intimately with our craft. Let's be real, the hardest part about doing our creative work typically is thinking about where to actually start. But guess what? With the previous seven steps under your belt, you've already done that legwork. So get creating and put your talents, your passion, your imagination, your skill set, your training to use by taking on each one of your divvied and scheduled to-do tasks 
one at a time. Now, a massive tip for this is to establish an organized workspace that makes it easy breezy to sit down and start up instantly. Now, if you want to learn how to do this in detail, I walk you through it in the procrastination system along with everything else that you need to know to turn chronic procrastination into massive creative progress. That link's below. Step nine, celebrate. And finally, our ninth step. Once you get to the end of your 12 months and your project is complete, stop to celebrate. Now, this was a step that I skipped for many years and guess what? It was such a mistake because I would start up a new project with the old one still kind of in my system. Now, this left me feeling tired and like I was just running one long, never ending race. And in many ways, I didn't even realize it consciously. My body for sure realized it, but my mind didn't. And it led to me sometimes feeling like I was waiting in burnout. We definitely don't want that for you. So stop and celebrate. You so deserve it. Take the time to bask in your amazing accomplishment. You have successfully brought a big creative project into the world that is absolutely remarkable and most certainly something to be honored. Now, this is definitely the step where you can share it with others if you'd like. Really take the time to enjoy all the work that you've completed. And as a bonus, once you've sufficiently honored your finished project, consider taking it to the next level or picking your next 12 month project. But before you do, make sure that you take some time to really rest and restore so that you feel refreshed for what comes next. Now, here's a fun thought. Maybe as part of your celebration step, consider commenting below right now, boldly claiming the big project that you want to take on. Then in one year's time, report back to this video when you've brought your project into completion and comment on your first post below for claiming loud and proud that you have finished it and what the process was like. I would absolutely love to hear about your tremendous progress and no doubt it will inspire others. Job well done getting through this three-part series on how to bring your big creative project to life in a year. Please like and subscribe so that we can offer you more creative support throughout the next 12 months as you're taking on these nine doable steps. Also, definitely share this series with somebody that you know could use it. There are way too many creative people in the world who are holding on to outrageously important projects inside of them that don't ever come into completion. Let's change that together. A huge thanks to Jen LaForge for suggesting that I do a video series. You are so incredibly appreciated, Jen. Thank you. I am so excited excited for you to see your creative dream project come across the finish line this time next year. You can do this. Now, go and create. You were created to. What might your life look like without procrastination holding you back? The procrastination system, a six hour, five segment system built of 20 dynamic and digestible chapters. It's an engaged 360 degree process that guides you through self-reflection to pinpoint your specific version of procrastination and how to turn it into attainable real world progress. It's carefully curated with a massive collection of tools and thought shifts to effectively transform your procrastination from inaction into traction. Reinforced by up-to-date neuroscience that helps us to understand procrastination from a cognitive level. If you feel like your life would look radically different if procrastination wasn't holding you back, the procrastination system is most definitely for you. It was built for you. The link's below. 
Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate you. If this episode was useful, I would love for you to hit the like button and perhaps share it with someone. For more tool-based, actionable, creative content, please make sure to subscribe. Also, if you have a question about creativity or the artist role that you would like to have answered, please leave it in the comments below and it may be featured in an upcoming episode.